Iya, harus pergi. Opa. Hello, welcome back. Uh, thank you all of you who join us here in Casa Gioia de Mar in Barcelona and also all the people who are following our streaming uh, from uh, their offices or their homes. So thank you. As you know, um, all the information is in our webpage and also we are following live this event in also in social media. It's time to talk about web platforms, um, exactly about web platforms uh, born from co-funded EU projects. And we have uh, four uh, experts uh, today. What can yeah. you tell us about them, Diana? We actually, Belen, we have uh, we have selected um, the best four out of the NECBC Met project. Let's say um, the ones that has uh, more potential to be sustained or funded in the pro in the future. So here today we are gonna listen four main platforms that are working at a regional Mediterranean level and are offering solutions in different sectors. The first one uh, is going to be presented by Dimitris. Uh, it is uh, developed in the uh, framework of Integmed project. It's called Ibasar of Innovation, and it connects investors with entrepreneurs in Greece. Um, I don't want to miss anyone. Uh, Greece, Tunisia, Egypt, and Spain. Uh, then the second platform will be uh, by uh, Takwa from Business Med. Uh, this platform is, be, is a business country desk uh, platform that helps everyone that wants to do business in the Mediterranean region, both north to south or south to south. Um, it offers, uh, Takwa will tell us more, but it offers also a, a lot of statistic data and, and matchmaking, a, a big directory. Uh, and, and updated the uh, data about exports and imports of all these uh, countries. Then the third one will be Marco uh, from Medusa. Uh, we have developed a really cool brand called Mediterranean Adventure Treasures, and we have launched a platform uh, that uh, it's uh, great because uh, you can plan your adventure in the, in, the, in the Mediterranean region, and we have other five regions, and we are working um, with uh, DMOs, SMEs, governments, and uh, we are looking also for, for, pa for partners that want to join our platform. Uh, and then the fourth one um, will be Organic Ecosystem Platform. It's a platform that provides in five languages uh, consultancy services for um, any SME, any farmer that is working on organic agriculture. Um, is uh, in they, they provide on-site and online consultancy services for free um, in Lebanon, Jordan, Spain, Italy, and Egypt as well. So we want you to uh, make th the most of the profit of all these platforms. Actually, my colleague Luis is going to pass you um, like a, a sheet uh, where you have all the QR codes that you can access all these platforms. So we really encourage you to uh, explore them. If you have some feedback about this platform, it will be very much appreciated. So I won't take m more of your time. I would like to uh, welcome to the state uh, Dimitris uh, to present the IVASAR platform. Dimitris, the floor is yours. Yeah, it should be working. Great. And the clipper. <sighs> oh. Yeah, thank you. Should I stand? I think I will stand here. You can hear me, I presume. Uh, my name is Dimitris Chakalidis. I, I'm the co-founder of uh, Novelcore. Uh, we discussed earlier today uh, a little bit about uh, what we do. Uh, I will talk today uh, about my experience with eBazaar of Innovation. The eBazaar of Innovation is a platform, as mentioned, uh, developed uh, in the project within the framework of uh, Intecmed project. Uh, that covers uh, Spain, Greece, uh, Tunisia, and Egypt. And uh, what they're actually this platform does is trying to connect uh, different, let's say, stakeholders uh, in the Mediterranean region that they want to develop uh, the co-create solutions, develop uh, common research activities. Um, so all in all, this is uh, the, the solution. Uh, I would like to to present you before I go exactly on how it works. Uh, I will describe how we used it and what need actually covers as a platform. 
Uh, so, as I mentioned, we are a research-driven SME. Our background is uh, we're engineers. So, and we also offer consulting services. That means uh, that we design research activities, we prepare proposals, uh, and of course we implement them, we disseminate them, and all this uh, cycle. I think most of you are uh, aware of the whole process. We often have some problems. The main one is that we cannot find partners. We have a solution. Uh, and we're missing the end users. Usually, as you know, some calls have some specific uh, demands that you may cover with your existing network, but you're all, all uh, very common, uh, you're missing uh, some partners. So this is something that is addressed by the innovation platform, the Bazaar of Innovation. Uh, another th uh, problem that we often face is that we have a solution and we don't know that it actually saves uh, or that actually can be applied in other domains. We don't have this input, we implement our own solution, we implement it in the specific domains we know, but often after discussions we have with uh, some partners, they say, with some alterations that can be applied uh, in my, or can solve my problem. Uh, so these are the basic reasons, two main actually reasons, why uh, I have the need for, uh, of such a platform. So let's see a little bit uh, how it works. Uh, basically, it's a common platform, you create your own profile, you register, you create your profile, you define your interests. So it has structured, let's say, uh, areas, fields, when you can uh, describe briefly, given a brief uh, overview of your work, of who you are, let's, let's say a description, and of course an overview of your research activities or research demands, let's say, research needs. Uh, yeah. Uh, in my case, it gives you two opportunities. You can either register as innovator uh, or as uh, an investor. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, in my case, often, uh, of course, a straightforward way for us is we register as innovator. But uh, as I told you, we also provide some investment uh, opportunities, even we as a small uh, company, to some innovators. So. Uh, within this platform, I can create profile for two for a different roles. Um, yeah, I think you can see my profile here. Ah, uh, no, here uh, you see the difference between the the innovator profile and the investor profile. Um, after you create your profile, uh, you can actually uh, make a request uh, for make a request for collaboration. Uh, this request is, you know, you define the areas you are interested in, you define the type of stakeholder you are looking for, and you expect someone to respond. Uh, here you can see my profile. I have the, you know, uh, some brief information about uh, what we do as a company and what are main research activities. Uh, this is, you know, we're around decision making. Uh, we use a lot of argumentation mining techniques. Uh, and you know, and uh, explanation, let's say, uh, explainable AI libraries. Uh, these are more specific solutions that some end users might not know, might not know how they work or how uh, they can be applied in their case. So, uh, when you are, you make your collaboration request, uh, you see there is, uh, you say first of all what you are looking for, what you can offer. Uh, there is a list in the skill section from predefined keywords. Uh, the interesting thing here is that you, you can define your own uh, keywords. And actually, the way it works, there is some recommendation systems based on AI, based on uh, information the users uh, provide. And it's like a recommendation system for innovators and investors. Um, in our case, you know, usually when you start searching for something, you end up uh, needing something and ending something else. So I think this is uh, an important field. We need, of course, the smartness, let's say, of uh, recommendation systems because we might miss something. Uh, also, I would like to emphasize a little bit on the regional uh, aspect of the solution. Uh, as I mentioned uh, often in the proposal, let's say that we write, there are demands for, uh, let's say, uh, location restrictions. You need partners from different countries. Uh, you have some skills from countries, but from partners, but they are not. They are all mostly from the same country. So this is something uh, that we always face, and we have needs for these uh, platforms. Um, some more features 
uh, that the platform provides is uh, after you have made the collaboration request and you have the input from uh, the interested party, uh, of course you can decide, uh, organize one-to-one -one meetings. So basically, to give you an idea, it's like what we're doing today in the digital world. Uh, and the smartness, the characteristic of this uh, platform lies on the uh, smart algorithms uh, that it uses based on keywords, uh, based on matching fields, uh, and of course more classical algorithmical uh, suggestions. Uh, I just mentioned here that there is a member and non-member area. Uh, there is a chat, a forum, a blog, event calendar, uh, and B2B meetings that I think uh, is expected to be organized in our today's summit. Uh, this is the overview of uh, the solution. I would like to discuss it with you. As a user, uh, I have some suggestion also because this uh, platform was created by the University of Patras. Uh, we have needs, we have users, but basically the main problem, let's say, on all this type of platform is uh, that we don't have enough user engagement. Uh, the more users, the more accurate and effective the results are. Uh, so, I urge you to uh, register and uh, create your profiles so we can, you know, formulate or, uh, let's say, make our collaboration more modular and structured. Um, that will be all. I don't know if you have any questions. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to ask you a question, Dimitris. Yeah. I don't know, like, can you tell us what is the added value of this platform? Like, why? Yeah, uh, yeah this, this platform uh, started, as I mentioned, in the, in, the, in the framework of InTechMed project, and it covers regionally this, uh, you know, specific Mediterranean uh, region. Uh, in my opinion, we have seen that also in Prima, for example. I think it was mentioned, uh, we had the responsible um, officer from Prima. Uh, in Prima, there is some similar uh, services in, the, in their website, uh, but it's only for Prima. So uh, my point is that we need to integrate, we need to formulate all these platforms, we need something that covers the whole Mediterranean region, and I think the key aspect is Mediterranean, which is, in my opinion, we should, in our minds at least, or maybe we can discuss it, uh, what is it that unites us in the Mediterranean region? In my opinion, research is a very good uh, you know, basis to start discussing this. Definitely, definitely. I think, yeah, uh, you summarized it really well, um, that finding a space, right, for, for innovators in the Mediterranean where they are connect, and it's like this cross-border, cross let's say, uh, meeting point, so it's a, and, and actually also for PhD students or researchers, right, that want to yeah, commercialize. And, uh, yeah, and uh, engineers also is something that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of researchers, I think more or less we know where we, you know, we know our research area. We often have a need for engineers. Uh, this mm -hmm. is something for in our company, it's uh, a need, constant, a constant need. Thank you very much, All Dimitris. Right. Thank you too. Thank you for your presentation. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I would like to give the welcome to our second speaker, Takwa, that is going to present us the BCD platform. Actually, I wanted to mention, <laughs> bravo, that uh, we have in the patio a business uh, country desk corner and that you can book your meetings if you download the app that we have passed. Uh, you download the app and you can um, set up meetings with other participants. So, and meet in the patio, in this nice corner that we have prepared. So, Dakwa is going to explain us a little bit, apart from other functionalities, uh, one of them, and you can start using it and register your profile is uh, in, the, in the patio. So, thank you, Dakwa. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, first of all, let me thank you all for making it to, till the last session of today's meeting. So, it's really a pleasure to have you all. And thank you, uh, I would like to address a thank you to uh, our partner Askame for the tremendous work done in order to have a successful uh, Mediterranean Innovation Hub uh, and for gathering uh, uh, us 
all today. Thank you very much. So I'm here uh, on behalf of Business Med, which is uh, the Union of Mediterranean Confederations of Enterprises. We do represent the private sector across the Mediterranean region uh, with 24 uh, confederation member from 20 uh, Euro Mediterranean countries. So uh, I would like to present you our tool, which is the Business Country uh, Desk tool. Actually, uh, it's uh, an online portal that confers uh, the development of eco the ec business ecosystem uh, from Europe, North, uh, North Africa and the Middle East uh, with a set of uh, three uh, services, customized services, which are uh, the business help desk. It's like um, it provides some information on trade and investment uh, from the South Mediterranean countries on 10 South Mediterranean countries. And the second uh, service is the partnerships, uh, where you can uh, find a directory of uh, companies, SMEs, business support organizations that are registered to the BCD platform. And the third service is the Remit Business Matching Tool, which is an event-driven uh, tool that we, um, with which we manage B2B meetings, like uh, today's meeting also, um, just to give you a hint that we do organize B2B meetings in the B2B corner downstairs downstairs uh, at the entrance of the Casa Roja, Elmar. So it's not really late to register and to uh, schedule your B2B meetings. And uh, there's a novelty, in fact, in the, in the Business Country Desk, not yet online, but we are developing an e-learning uh, module where you will find online courses to capitalize on the, the knowledge learned from the Ipsomed project, which is a new funded project, uh, and where uh, we will just upload uh, two main courses from our uh, partner, Kautar. Uh, it's basically on uh, the tips and best practices uh, on how to grasp funding opportunities and how to, for example, on the internationalization of SMEs and so on. So it will be like by next month, uh, this online course will, uh, will be uh, online on the PCT. Just an overview on the five reasons why do you need to register to the BCD. So first of all, you will jo join the BCD community, so the Euromed Dynamics. Uh, once you register, you will be direct, uh, indexed in the directory of, uh, of companies and startups, and you will uh, connect and identify and connect uh, with potential partners uh, directly on the platform. In fact, like uh, it's chat uh, solutions for between peers across the Mediterranean region. Uh, for example, a Spanish company uh, can get in touch and have sustainable partnership with an Egyptian uh, good supplier or service provider. And then uh, it provides guidance for trade and investment decision making. Here, uh, I refer to the uh, help desk uh, section. Uh, so you will uh, have like, um, it's just to address the shortage of uh, reliable data uh, on trade and investment. So it will somehow um, influence the decision making when it comes to trade and investment. Uh, the first, the fourth reason is that you will keep track of the Euromed opportunities. You will get informed about um, the, the upcoming events, networking events like ours, uh, and uh, you will have, uh, you will get access to resources um, section where you will find some publications that may re be relevant for your for your work. And for fifth, uh, the last. Uh, reason would be to participate and to organize networking uh, events and you can even organize your own meet, uh, networking events as a business support organization like ASCAMI today organized uh, the Meta Week uh, B2B meetings through our BCD platform. So basically before we move on with a brief demonstration on on the BCD platform and just I want you to scan somehow the QR code so that you can access directly to the BCD platform. Just I will let you like two seconds before moving uh, asking the technicians to, uh, to have the video demonstration. Is it okay for you? <laughs> Now, we, if we can uh, just display the demonstration video on mute mode. 
Okay, so here we will be ending on the homepage of, uh, of the Business Country Desk where we'll, you will find a research engine. You can have access to the, all the countries that are represented, for instance. So it's not restricted to some companies from uh, the Mediterranean region, but beyond. And then you choose the structure you are targeting, like it can be business support organization, SME, financial institution, and so on. The sector that you are targeting, ITC, media, everything, <laughs> manufacturing, and then you can dial and, uh, and check uh, your potential partner. Here's just a recall on what has been said so far about the reasons and the usefulness of uh, the BCG for uh, business operators. And then afterwards, uh, it will be just a counter on registered uh, companies so far on the BCD. But we are keenly asking you to register uh, and just replicate what uh, the representative of eBazaar just said. We are counter really on the registrations to, to have to grasp all the funding opportunities and the partnership opportunities. Just a hint of, of our services plus one once it's uh, online. A counter on uh, on registered country co companies and then the events, but we will go more thoroughly afterwards. The, the help desk section, where you will find like three subsections uh, under uh, under the Med Business help desk, the trade uh, guide and the investment guide and some statistics that could be useful for you. And we will start with the trade. You need here to dial uh, to choose. Uh, one of the 10 South Mediterranean countries, because our aim is to boost trade and investment for these South Mediterranean countries. But the partnerships is for around the Euro Mediterranean region. Here, uh, it, it will confer just an overview about the trade framework of Tunisia, for example. Maybe because we are from Tunisia. That's why we said the, the Tunisian example. And then uh, you will have access to uh, the treaties and the conventions that are ratified by Tunisia. Uh, at the regional and the bilateral level is a hint about the treaty and the uh, description, uh, the date of ratification and a link to the full uh, regulation. And then you can go through and, and check them out. But we are working on the update of all this data uh, incrementally. Now we move on to the investment. Same, we choose the country that we are targeting. And then we go through the investment framework, like somehow uh, the regulation, uh, the financial uh, and fiscal in incentives, and so on and so forth. Last, the section of statistics where you may find, um, like, choose the country and the indicator that you are aiming at, for example, inflation, uh, the prices evolution, and so on. But we are still working on the update of, of this one with uh, relevant, um, like, uh, data from the World Bank, from OECD, and, and other uh, references. GDP and etc. So we can check all the indicators that are represented here. I keenly invite you to, to, to go and have, uh, have a look at it. And afterwards, it's still stuck. Okay. So the partnership section, uh, what I talked about, the engine where you will choose the country, there's a, a quick filter in order to fine tune your, your search by country, the sector, the type of structure that you are targeting that may be potentially your, your partner, the structure size and its age, just to fine tune, but it's not mandatory to, 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 to check them all. And then here you have a hint, for example, for Algeria, there's for instance 18, but we didn't start the promotion at the national level because uh, our intention is to have regional events in order to promote it, but afterwards we will go to each uh, country and promote it to, in order to have more and more registrations. The agenda section is just an overview about uh, the upcoming events, and uh, and once you you have um, you click on it and you you will, you will uh, get access to the details about the organizer, uh, the date, 
the place, the format, and all the details just in the detail page uh, afterwards. And even the participation uh, format and how to register the link to the source, it can be not only our events, but even more events of our partners. And here, your Med Business Matching Tool, which is uh, dedicated to uh, the management of the events, networking events. For example, we picked the, our example of the Med Business Days 2022, where we celebrated Business Med's 20th anniversary. And there was a session for networking. Here, once I, I click on I attend, I uh, just request the participation to the, to the event. And once I get access to it, uh, by the organizer, the approval of the organizer, I will get access to my profile. But I can also edit the profile and so on, just to, to simplify things. And access to my, uh, my event on Med Business Days. And then I will get hold of the catalog of participating comp companies that will be there on site. But even we have the option to have online uh, the whole online events. Uh, here I, I chose uh, the one with whom I would like to meet and choose uh, the, the time slot and validate. Uh, and afterwards, uh, they will have a notification both uh, on, the, on the website, and on the platform, and by email so, so that he can reply back to my meeting request. Afterwards, just a few details about the invitations sent and received and the statues, accepted, pending, or even cancelled. Uh, my agenda, where you will find both the panels, for example, the, uh, the sessions that are going on uh, during this networking event, and at the, at the same time, the B2B meeting that are confirmed, for me to just not skip the meeting, the B2B meeting that, uh, that I just confirmed, just to, to, to maybe go jump to, to have the B2B meeting and then go back to the, to the uh, panel. Afterwards, I think it's just about information messages that are sent by the organizer to boost registrations and to boost uh, the B2B meetings uh, on, on the BCG. You can have also sort out the badge uh, of registration where you will find the details about the agenda and the confirmed uh, B2B meetings. But we didn't print out our badge for the, for the session because we already have the badge for the middle week, so it will be more, more or less. So that's all from my end. I would stop here, but in any case, you would like to, to ask any questions, we, that's what we are here for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dagwa. I don't know if anyone in the audience has any questions about how it works or what are the, the functionalities of this platform. Um, maybe, maybe no. Maybe it's after lunch and we are all a little We're bit tired. low energy. Okay, Costas has a, a question. Let me pass you the mic. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for the presentation. I much. really appreciate it, and uh, I think it's uh, a really useful tool. So, uh, I'm the project coordinator of Intecmed project, so uh, uh, it gave us some, uh, some ideas. Uh, one of the ideas that uh, we could have is to develop a synergy between these two platforms. It would be interesting to evaluate whether the profile of the businesses, that, uh, of the enterprises that you gather, on uh, this platform, maybe uh, we could give a functionality uh, in order to see if there is a matchmaking with uh, the innovators that we raise. So if uh, there is a matchmaking between the different interests. So uh, if it is okay with you, maybe in, in the following days we could uh, have a discussion and how we can uh, somehow combine this. And uh, also another question is, uh, if it would be possible to use uh, this B2B meeting online tool when we will arrange our B2B meetings in our project. So uh, we, we have to ask our innovators to register on your platform and of course to use it, uh, to use it afterwards, something like that. Or should we develop an event first? 
Uh, maybe I will just reply to the first question and ask you to, to, to ask me the, the second one, just because I'm <laughs> I really forget very soon. So about the first question, um, about the synergies between the um, EU-funded uh, platforms, yes, for sure. We really uh, appreciate the fact that we, we need collaboration not in order to, to not have the same thing done by all the platforms, but rather capitalize on each other's um, uh, services that we provide. Uh, for example, we are working on an MOU with the ITC, uh, International Trade Center, uh, about, uh, I think, Euromed Trade Help Desk, because they basically provide somehow um, data about trade, um, but uh, they are sorted out by product. For, for example, once you would like to, uh, to, to export such pro product to a, a country, what are the regulations? And here it complements each other because uh, we do just an overview about the trade um, climate and investment climate for them to have the details about each product uh, that's what why, why we are we are working on uh, on the cooperation between each other. So we are working on the redi redirection of one another website because they are uh, this project is EU funded by Digineer uh, and their uh, platform is under Digitrade and we need really to capitalize on on each other uh, platform. So yeah, for for sure we we need to capitalize on on each other's um, initiatives. Yeah, we maybe. Uh, at bilateral level, we could uh, delve into uh, potential uh, partnerships that we could build also with uh, with your platform. But the second question, <laughs> sorry. The second question is, uh, uh, for example, uh, we would like to use uh, the B two B functionality, yes. the B two B meeting functionality. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are thinking in uh, May to have uh, an event, a B two B meeting event for our innovators. Yeah. So uh, somehow we need to create an account on your platform and to create that event and to ask uh, to all interested parties to create their profile and after that somehow to, admin to uh, administrate uh, this, uh, this new event that we would like to to realize with the support of the B2B meeting functionality. Yes, for sure. In fact, um, maybe we can grant you the organizer role as the Askame done. Uh, just uh, it's at the bilateral level, you can just request uh, to create an account under the BCG. And then we will grant you the, the role of organizer where you can manage the whole thing. You will access to the dashboard uh, to view who are registered to accept the registered ones and to boost them to, to have B2B meetings um, and just send the uh, information messages not done at our level but at your level you will get hold of all the event at your level uh, view who are who are uh, requesting requests uh, meetings with whom uh, accept uh, uh, like uh, registrations even refuse <laughs> any participant that is not that uh, for example relevant for your event so you will get the chance to manage all your events at your own. And it's, I just missed the detail that it's for free. It's a new funded project, so it's, uh, it's for free. Just a quick request at the bilateral level, and then you will get access to, to all your events to, to be organized. But we vividly invite you to, to use it. <laughs> Rather, we thank you for your kind interest. We had uh, uh, another question. Actually, I wanted to add on, on that, Costas, and to reply and to add to Takwa, since Askame has both projects in common, what we can do after this meeting, if you want, is to talk about what are the functionalities we can use. Of course, you as Chamber of Commerce of Ahaya are one of our members, so any benefits that Askame gets from participating in other projects, you will get them too. So I'm, I'm sure we can, we can kind of build on top uh, of each other, yeah. Thank you. Um, we have another question over there. I don't know the mic. Yeah, perfect. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you so much, Takwa, for the presentation. I'm Carmen Jaha. I'm Lebanese. I just moved to Barcelona. I think it sounds great and would be very helpful for somebody who's starting out as an entrepreneur. And I wanted to ask you whether you thought about using this digital platform to direct investment specifically for women-led businesses. Uh, maybe we can put together the Mediterranean on the map of more gender lens investing. So if you thought about that, let us know. If not, maybe this is something uh, we can talk about. Thank you.
Thank you for this kind question. It's like a recommendation from our partner Askame. It was uh, like to add a tag maybe uh, of women-led organization or startup just to boost uh, the feminine and uh, the women uh, involvement in the BCD. So it's work on progress. Uh, it was noted by our Askame uh, partner in order to, to, to add a tag once you register as a women-led organization or or company, you will um, you will be there indexed in the directory of uh, of BCD. So yes, it's work in progress. Yes, we will definitely do that. Um, I mean, I wanted to ask you what is the added value of the platform, but I think that for sure you have already kind of covered, and we all get the sense, no, that the magic is that maybe you want to look for data and you have to go to all these different resources and what you are doing is to gather everything if you want to export or to uh, or expand in another country, right? You have like everything in just one place that we know for our Mediterranean region it's not so easy to find this information such in other places in the world. Um, and of course the matchmaking and everything. I don't know if you have like uh, as the developer and the brain behind this, uh, what will be the added value for you personally? Thank you very much for this question. In fact, it's it's a legitimate question. What's special about the BCD? It's like we intended to have it as a one-stop shop uh, platform where you will find uh, like three uh, three kind of information that are passing on the information about the trade business climate, the investment business climate uh, that could shape and somehow orient uh, the decision making of investors and traders. Uh, second, uh, you will get the partnership uh, part, so you will get the relevant contacts with whom you can have uh, partnerships. And the third one is the knowledge uh, transfer, because under this uh, e-learning module that we are developing, we would like to capitalize on what we learned uh, and the academies that we had uh, in the framework of the Ipsomed project will be displayed directly online. So just to spread uh, the knowledge that we learned from the Ipsomed project and to have it online and for free especially. And yeah. in a securist, uh, secured manner uh, because we do also uh, protect uh, the personal data of, uh, of all registrants. So. That's all for me. Thank you very much for your kind interest. In, in any case, uh, you can reach out to us uh, later on at the bilateral uh, level. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dakwa. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. OK, now we go um, to do something fun. Now we are going to discover the Mediterranean Adventure Treasures. It is a brand that we have launched uh, in the frame of Medusa Project, which is super cool because we were, actually we have been mentioning in the Meda Week this week that it is really needed to launch an agency for the promotion of the Mediterranean as a tourist destination. Um, in Medusa, which is led by the Chamber of Commerce of Barcelona, uh, we have focused on adventure tourism, sustainable tourism. And as I was mentioning before, we have developed uh, this brand uh, that we invite you to follow us on social media, Mediterranean Adventures, um, because you will get to see like all the routes and everything. So I invite you to follow our Instagram. And then now what we are going to hear um, on the stage, we are going to have Marco, uh, which is uh, from White Oyster, which is the team that I have developed this platform that has, uh, for me at least, like two approaches uh, or uses or can be interesting for you as an end user, as a, as a traveler, that I think we all are travelers here in the room. and as a partner for the for the platform that maybe you can provide this to one of the companies or the MOs in your network or to someone you know that might be interested to use this as a promotion uh, tool um, so i would like to welcome to the stage uh, to the stage marco marco the floor is yours thank you very much do i need this? no you're good thank you hello ah it's working Hi guys, uh, thank you uh, all for inviting me here to uh, do this speak. I hope you guys still have some uh, energy left to uh, to listen to this uh, this little talk. Um, is there a little thingy for the presentation? Ah, for the slides. Ah, yes, thank you. 
Uh, uh, this is me, not in the Mediterranean. Uh, this is in. Uh, this was on a mission for uh, for National Geographic, uh, in the, on the border of Kazakhstan and uh, and and China and uh, and Mongolia, uh, hunting with uh, the golden eagle hunters. And I uh, I dress. I, I took the guy's uh, clothes off his back and put them on myself. I mean, it's not very sustainable. I mean, the the head has. 15 dead foxes in it or something. So I shouldn't actually be showing this, but okay. Um, I, uh, I am the, uh, the, the, the founder of uh, White Oyster. White Oyster has uh, two different uh, parts. We have a White Oyster magazine, uh, which is mainly adventure travel uh, journalism. My background is in journalism and I've been, I've been writing for National Geographic for 20 years. Uh, and a couple five four years ago, I started uh, my own magazine, White Oyster, uh, with a, with a niche on uh, uh, sustainable adventure travel, uh, and we kind of hit uh, a good wave because sustainable adventure travel is picking up rapidly, also because of uh, the pandemic, where people want to be more outside, uh, want to have more space around th themselves. So. Uh, also because of that and because we did some really good promotion on it, we have about 180,000 digital subscribers now uh, throughout Europe. We come out in English, in German, in Dutch and in Spanish. And um, uh, uh, that's the magazine on one side. On the back side we have White Oyster Creative, which is basically an agency for, tra for travel storytelling. Uh, uh, and then also focused again on uh, on the adventurous part uh, of that, but also we have the the the, the corporations and the development aids that you see here are are people we uh, we help and we we work with uh, to help them uh, create content, travel storytelling content, but also strategy on how to uh, get all these stories actually to the target group. You know, you can create beautiful things, but if nobody reads it, you know, what's the point? Um, all right, enough about me. Uh, how does this work? Ah, yeah. So, all the investors here were telling me, you know, first uh, tell us the problem. Well, the problem is over tourism, uh, only seaside tourism, uh, in my opinion, also cruises. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, it's the kind of travel that it looks good. You, it looks like, hey, there's a lot of a lot of people, so a lot of money should, will be pouring in. But that's uh, in in a lot of cases not the case. Uh, actually, uh, adventure travel is a better value for money. But I'll I'll get to that in a uh, point. But especially here in Barcelona, people will recognize the over tourism. So it is one one aim of of what we uh, are trying to do is to uh, diversify tourism streams not only from the known locations but also to different locations which do not have that many tourists and when these when we can move these streams to these different locations then also businesses that uh, are in tourism are will pop up which is already happening as you will see in a bit as well so the solution what i said Low impact adventure travel, and I'm not, you know, when you say adventure, you you can think of jumping out of airplanes and doing all kinds of really scary stuff. But for a lot of people, the the, the soft adventure, so hiking, biking, walking, snorkeling, those kind of things, that's that's more the thing that that is more mainstream that we that we are aiming at. Oh yeah, I'm I'm going to read this because I couldn't memorize it at short uh, notice. Uh, you know, traveling can be a force for good when done right. This is, you know, the opinion of, of what, how, how we've been working for quite a long time. Uh, a genuine sustainable adventure experience connects you with nature while conserving it. Uh, it allows you to interact and truly get to know the local communities you visit. It lets you feel, live, breathe, and sub submerge in its culture. Mediterranean Adventures offers curated adventure experience, handpicked for excellence and sustainability. And um, I actually, uh, yeah, the thing is, you know, when 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 I go back to the other uh, to the other slide, when there's a big red cross through all these people on the beaches. Uh, I am personally from the Netherlands, and we have a TV show in the Netherlands, and I think it's been done in other countries as well, and where a TV crew goes to these people on the beach and go like, "Hey, where are you?" And they, you know, they show them a map, and people point somewhere completely different. They have actually no idea where they are. So uh, that kind of tourism doesn't really uh, value the the the, the culture.
culture that, uh, that people are in. Um, so with sustainable, with, with sustainable adventure travel, you can contribute to a better world while traveling, although it almost seems like an oxymoron. So sustainable adventure tourism, why? It makes optimal use of environmental resources. So, you know, you can cut down a forest, but you can also bike through it, which is, you know, it takes a long time for the, tr for the trees to go back, but the tourists or the people that go through it on bikes and walking with guides and all those kind of things is much more of a sustainable, uh, making more optimal use of en environmental resources. It respects and values the social and cultural authentic authenticity of host communities. It ensures viable long-term economic operations for local people and companies. Green job creation. Diversifies tourist streams, which I already mentioned. Promotes and offers a healthy lifestyle. And it's away from the crowds. Um, what I also mentioned here before, this is a, a report that comes from the ATTA, the Adventure Travel Trade Association. Um, and as I said, it looks great when you have a, a cruise ship coming in and there's a, a thousand people coming out of the ship and they're in the city for an hour and then they, they ran, run back. But there's not a lot of money staying behind in the host country in that case. Uh, overnight package tourists are usually, you know, people go to hotels. Those hotels are owned by, by uh, international corporations, so the money doesn't stay in the, in the, in the local communities, but it goes out of it. Adventure travel, you actually need four people to, uh, to generate $10,000 in this case for the, for the, local, uh, for the local communities. Because uh, on, on, on average, uh, uh, a person who goes one week on an adventure trip spends about $2,500. Uh, so, we... I'm going to read this. So, this is the Mediterranean Adventures, the brand that we created uh, for uh, Medusa. Uh, we created the platform and the travel, the initial initial travel storytelling uh, for the platform. Although uh, there's a long way to go to uh, what we have in mind, uh, but Medusa aims to develop and promote Mediterranean sustainable adventure tourism in the region around the Mediterranean basin by designing and testing routes and itineraries that offer improved adventure tourism products. Medusa is contributing to green job creation and income for local communities. Moreover, the project has the potential to reveal lesser-known destinations and attract tourists all throughout the year. Because, you know, people go to the beach in the summer, but in autumn it's not so nice on the beach. But you can still have a really nice walk in the mountains or in the forest. And we've been working together with this with, uh, with the seven partners uh, under, uh, underneath it. But, of course, that is for the future uh, uh, not the only, the only uh, thing that we are going to work with. So basically the brand aims at hidden treasures of the Mediterranean. What I mean with hidden treasures, and this is a really beautiful hidden gem, and it also very much uh, shows what, what, what we have in mind and what, that, it, that it can be very successful. It's, uh, I don't know if you heard of the Feynman Lodge in, uh, in Jordan, but it's, uh, it's a really beautiful, beautiful lodge. Uh, sustain, sustainability is a word very much overused. In this case, I would not even call it sustainable, I would, would call it regenerative. Uh, it's been built with the mud that is, has been lying around there forever. Uh, they're the only, they use solar energy only for uh, heating the water in the bathrooms. The lighting of the, of the whole lodge is done by candles. It looks fantastic in the evening. Um, their wastewater uh, uh, production and, and how they control that, they basically created a swamp. Which, which filters all the water. Uh, it's, and, and they really created some sort of an oasis there. And it, it's such a, an, an, a, a, a successful project that it attracts a lot of, a lot of travelers who uh, are, are going to Jordan and are, are you know, really interested. And there's more and more people interested in traveling this way. Uh, what you see next to it is something that uh, shows 
what what a project like this does to to uh, to a region. I mean, it is the the Feynan, Feynan Lodge is in one of Jordan's poverty pockets, but it has created um, uh, support for 80 families and around 100 people. One particular part, I thought, what the owner told me. This is the quote. This is a quote of the uh, of the owner of uh, of Feynan Lodge. One thing that he told me was uh, uh, they they have all these clients and these clients want to uh, ride bikes. Uh, so uh, they helped one of the people in the, in the local community with a, with a loan to get all these bikes instead of them buying themselves. And he uh, now basically uh, lends, of, of rents them back to Feynan Lodge. And this way he is responsible for uh, repairing the bikes if anything is, is, is wrong, but you know, he, the spin-off of, of this lodge is amazing. You know, it, it just creates all an other small little businesses around as well. I think this is a, f a beautiful e example of things that are popping up when when you have uh, sustainable sustainable travel, sustainable adventure travel around. And uh, if you ever get the chance, go there. The the night skies are amazing because it's beautifully beautiful stars. What we aim at uh, within Mediterranean Adventures is hiking, cycling, bird watching, and all the other things that you can see on this uh, on this slide. Uh, basically, on the website you can uh, you can either search by destination or you can search by activity. So uh, the, if you if you are looking like oh yeah, I want to know what uh, what's going on in Catalonia, then you can click on that destination. You can read all the stories about uh, about the destination. Also, uh, in the project, we're only aiming at regions that are uh, where, the, where the road is less, less traveled. So you get to know a lot about regions that you probably don't know a lot about yet. Uh, or you can, or you can uh, check in on activities. Say you are uh, a hiker and you're like, well, I want to know. And then you're like, wait a minute. Can you actually hike in Tunisia? Oh wow, that's a cool that's a cool hike. All right, let's maybe go there. And also to 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 educate and to inspire uh, people, and also to uh, create business for the the, the service providers that are uh, associated with us. We are, we are of course making use of some fantastic. Uh, trails that have been created in uh, the last uh, in the last years, uh, and what you see is 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 that uh, you know the idea for most of these 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 uh, these trails was to for one you know a trail connects uh, 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 localities with 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 cities etc. But what you see now is that along all these trial along all these trails uh, companies are are popping up. Because you know, if you walk that trail, you, you maybe want to have a, a, a falafel if you are in, in Jordan, or you know, if you are here, uh, you want uh, something else. What you, what's good here? Uh, so we are a lot of the things that 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 uh, that we have on the website now are also connected with uh, with these. Mediterranean Adventures. Are the philosophy for the success that we think is supporting and upgrading new products and services. Uh, engaging communities along the trails, working together with all stakeholders through a marketing alliance. And right now, that is uh, that marketing alliance in this in this kickoff phase of the of Mediterranean adventures is is Catalonia, Puya, Tunisia, uh, Jordan, and Lebanon. But of course, the Mediterranean Mediterranean is a lot bigger. So, uh, in, in hopefully in the foreseeable future, we can attract more partners from all other countries and do co-marketing around, you know, the Mediterranean and adventure adventure travel. Uh, we are utilizing tools to support businesses and showcase the offerings to buyers and consumers, and we are encouraging sustainable practices. And we are also that 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 philosophies for success is also publicity. So if you create. Uh, good content. You know, we, 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 if you check the website, there's some really good stories, like, in, for instance, the Feynman Lodge. And we don't leave that only on uh, on this website, but we also share these stories with other travel platforms. So uh, uh, there's a spin-off on 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 all different levels. I mean, the, the the aim is for all for us when we are doing anything to create as much reach as possible, uh, because if you reach a lot of people. A percentage of those people will actually come. 
Uh, I wanted to show you a video. Now let's see if they hear what I'm saying, if this thing actually starts. It's a pretty cool video. And I thought you might want to look at something instead of listening. <laughs> but video! <laughs> Wait. Ah! There will always be lands we have never seen. Places we wish to explore. Things we have never tried. And moments we have never lived. What if we can have it all in one small part of the world? Welcome to the Mediterranean, where adventure has no limits. To a haven for thrill seekers filled with adrenaline rushes. Discover breathtaking views. Take a leap from the ordinary and enjoy the excitement filling your body. Who said bravery is a given? It's all about resilience. So let the adventure begin in countries full of wonders. You are not alone. Trust one another and dare to seek new environments. You fall? Get up anyway and try again and again. We are living proof of perseverance. Nothing more challenging than immersing yourself into newfound experiences. Nothing better than taking a deep breath of fresh air while gazing at the stars of different skies. And nothing more real than feeling. Feeling the rhythm of waves and falling in love with nature. Embrace new cultures that never cease to surprise. Travel responsibly by respecting locals, travelers, cultural heritage, and most importantly, the environment. Benvenuti in Puglia. Ya hello, ya marhaba fikum bel Urdun. Ahla wa sahla fikum bel Lebanon. Benvenuta Catalonia. Marhaba fikum fi Tunis. Welcome to the Mediterranean. Step out of your comfort zone and jump into the most stunning panoramas that you will ever lay your eyes on. Travel from one place to another, each incredibly unique and thrilling. Hold on tight, or just let loose. Experience activities you cannot try at home, and destinations hard to find anywhere else in the world. Keep your eyes open for wowing sceneries. Gaze into the horizon and sense the beauty of life. Dive right into unforgettable experiences and discover the unknown. Ready for unforgettable adventures? Visit the Mediterranean. Well, thank you. And with this, I basically also came to the end of my presentation. If there are any questions, I would gladly answer them. Love it when I'm clear. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, I really like the presentation. It was uh, very enjoyable. I'm uh, coming from Turkey. Uh, I'm a CFO of a company and uh, an NGO there. Uh, uh, while you were uh, presenting, I was checking the website and uh, a bit sad. I did not find uh, Turkey inside the list there. Uh, really, Turkey is one of the Beautiful exactly, exactly. country around the world, <laughs> and uh, it is really a four-season country. Exactly. So I, uh, well, in the, I'm, in I'm not marketing for Turkey, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that uh, it is maybe a good opportunity to collaborate. Like, if you need any help by adding Turkey on the list there, and uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> well, that is exactly the reason why I'm actually standing here because you know this is this this. Uh, up till now, this has been a pilot project with five destinations. As I saw in, a four, in an earlier presentation, uh, in the next round there are 15 countries in the inter-regional next med thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
and which has potential 99 regions in uh, in this thing. And and you know it would be my aim uh, and 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 dream and goal to have all these regions in there and have stories from all these these uh, regions as long as it has to do with adventure adventure uh, sustainable adventure tourism, you know, as one voice and with one vision. But uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the, the the funny thing is when we launched uh, when we launched the the brand at the Adventure Travel uh, World Summit uh, last September in uh, Lugano. Uh, one week later, I already got a, a mail from the Deputy Minister of Tourism of Cyprus, who actually said the same yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, if you can help us with this, with okay, this, okay, okay, gladly talk. Thank you very much. Is there is any other questions? I think the video is really cool, right? At the very end, it gives you like this good flavor. <laughs> um, I don't know if uh, any one of you have any questions about how to join the program, or maybe Marco is going to be around after. Um, and we are looking for... Yeah, please talk to me, because I don't know anyone, so... <laughs> yes, also. So it's a bit awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So um, thank you very much, Marco. Um, I think for, for the Chamber of Commerce of Barcelona and for Ascame, this is a beautiful project. Um, we had the chance to experience some adventure tourism together. Uh, and, and for sure, sustainability and adventure tourism after the pandemic, as you were mentioning, is really, really important. Yeah. Um, so we encourage all of you to subscribe, to send it to your, well not, so the five destinations, just in case it wasn't clear enough, is Catalonia, Puglia in Italy, then we have Lebanon, Jordan, and Tunisia. Uh, these last three are whole countries, and we are looking forward to expand. So if you have any partners in these uh, five regions, please invite them to join and follow us on Instagram. Yes, yes. let's rock and roll. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and last but not least, um, we are going to have a, a presentation uh, from Lebanon, from the Chamber of Commerce of Sahle and Beka, that is going to present us, if Said is still here, I hope he is. Yes, here he is from Lebanon, connecting from Lebanon, to talk about this uh, consultancy service platform. Um, it's really niche because it's mainly for for agriculture sector, but uh, we have met, did we have done a great job with the help of the NECBC Med program to translate this platform into English. Arabic, Italian, Greek, and French. So any farmer across the Mediterranean can subscribe their questions about how to transition from traditional agriculture to organic agriculture. It's a massive work. We have a pool of, I think, 50 consultants in all these countries for free. Um, and and the, it's sad that not many people know that this platform is available in all these countries and they also provide on-site visits. So, um, Said, welcome. We hope to have you in Barcelona, but uh, not this time. You always come, so yeah. Thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Ascami, for giving me the opportunity to participate in this uh, Meta Week 2022. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it for, for Barcelona this year, maybe the, the next year. Uh, I, I will have this opportunity. Uh, uh, I'm going to present uh, the organic ecosystem platform, uh, which, uh, which has been developed under the organic ecosystem project funded by the EU under NECBC MED uh, program. Uh, my name is Saeed Jadeon. I'm Deputy General Manager at the Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture of Zahmian uh, uh, Just to give you a brief overview about the project, this project uh, uh, is uh, for uh, 2.4 million as a total budget. Uh, and uh, uh, it has been set for three years. Uh, uh, hopefully, we can get an extension uh, as the initial uh, uh, period uh, has to be ended by December 2022, but we're looking forward 
to get uh, an extension for this program for nine months. Uh, uh, in general, uh, this project aims to improve the organic ecosystem uh, system competitiveness. Uh, how uh, through creating a cross-border coordination and uh, getting more uh, SMEs into these sectors. Uh, we, uh, we want to uh, boost innovation. We need SMEs to be involved more and more in the value chain through participatory approach and to focus on the needs of the people. So we uh, try to, uh, uh, to provide some solutions designed specifically for the needs of farmers and producers. As a target, uh, we look to improve uh, and increase the job opportunities uh, by uh, 5% at uh, the enterprises who are benefiting from the consultancy services and by 20% for the uh, other uh, SMEs involved in the project. Uh, so uh, we are looking forward uh, uh, to have this project uh, and to get a big impact from this project because the organic sector is improving worldwide. The sales of the organic uh, 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 products also is increasing. So there are a lot of opportunities for everyone. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, the platform uh, to go straight forward to the point uh, uh, has been developed as per the user needs. So uh, it responds to what they, they want. And it has been designed in a user-friendly uh, manner to serve, serve them, especially you know that farmers are not uh, having uh, 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 access always to, uh, to technology. So it has been de designed to make them very uh, comfortable. Uh, it's very easy to, to use and it's, uh, uh, it's very useful for uh, based on the operator's feedback. Uh, we, uh, we design it in a way uh, that the experts can reply and can assist during their extra time. So uh, no need to be on site directly. Uh, and uh, fortunately, we, we had uh, a wide range of expertise uh, with a very low technical problems. Uh, if you uh, can see uh, in the slide for the fields of expertise, we, it, it's very diversified from marketing to agro-processing to contract farming, traceability, certification, everything related to organic agriculture and side businesses uh, is uh, and can be included through uh, uh, this technical assistance platform, uh, which is free for, uh, for farmers and for, for the operators. Uh, uh, also, we can provide uh, field visit and practical visits as technical assistance uh, uh, if this is needed by the beneficiaries. Uh, the country is directly involved in, uh, in the project uh, besides uh, 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 Askame, who is a, a, a big partner of this project. Uh, so we have uh, the Italy through the Siambari, who has developed this platform. Uh, we have Lebanon through the Chamber of Commerce. We have Jordan, the Minister of Agriculture, and Inopolis in Greece. Uh, how can you access this uh, platform? Uh, you have to register on a link on a website. Uh, then you can log into your account and post a request easily as we are going to see in the next slides. Uh, the website is assistance.organicecosystem.net. Uh, so this link uh, is accessible to everyone. All you, uh, you have to do is to, uh, to register. So as it's mentioned, uh, in the arrow here, so you go to the registration, uh, uh, you create a username and the password, and you fill the necessary data inside. So uh, you can uh, uh, check which kind of expertise do you need, so which kind of technical assistance. Uh, uh, 
depends uh, if you are a consumer, a company, a farmer. So everyone can access to this kind of uh, uh, this platform. You can get uh, uh, after the registration uh, a confirmation email, uh, which will help to activate your account, and then you start using the platform by entering the username and the password. Uh, if we go into the details of this platform, uh, uh, it's mainly uh, about uh, having information about the organic ecosystem, the organic uh, sector. Uh, we have a section uh, set as user profile, so the users can change their profile or uh, add additional information. Uh, there's a section uh, set as frequently asked questions. So we will uh, feed this section with time if we uh, see that many questions has been asked many times. So we can we can ask uh, we can put them in this section. Uh, the main component of this platform is the new request here. So as a user, you have to go here to post a new request and uh, you can check also the past requests and all the requests with the experts reply. So if you had previous requests, they will be, still be on the platform and then you can check them again. Uh, you can have, uh, you can set the language of uh, the, uh, the platform. So as Diana mentioned, it's in different languages and it's easy to use. Uh, for the operator, it, it's very easy. It's like writing an email. Uh, where uh, you can set uh, the country, the region, the sector of uh, uh, expertise you need. It's, is it marketing, uh, farming, uh, agro-industry, whatever, the title of uh, the service that you need, and then you can type whatever you want, requesting uh, uh, from a specific expert, uh, what do, do you need? You can also add to... Uh, 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 an attachment to it, so it will be easier for the expert to identify the problem and to reply uh, 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 promptly on uh, on these questions. Uh, uh, so uh, you can uh, check what are uh, uh, the questions raised before, and then we can see if it has been answered or not. The goal was achieved or not. So. Uh, we as managers of, of this platform uh, uh, or administrators, we can check if these answers are still pending or not. So the follow-up is very important because we want uh, 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 people uh, to get answers to what they are uh, asking for. Uh, uh, so far, we had uh, around uh, 110 requests for uh, the consultancy through the organic ecosystem platform uh, uh, in the different countries. Uh, seven, uh, 47 SMEs uh, has been also, uh, uh, have, they have received uh, this service, which is free of charge during all the uh, 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 project period. And uh, we, uh, we are looking for uh, further uh, uh, cooperation in order to improve uh, this platform in the future and to ensure its uh, sustainability. Uh, thank you, and I leave the floor for the questions and answers if there. Diana? Diana, can you hear me? Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions. No? You finished, right, Site? Yes. Okay, thank you very, very much. I was outside for a second with my colleague Belen. Um, I don't think anyone here in the room has any questions. Um, I anyway, the website is, uh, is uh, uh, here, assistance.organicecosystem.net. So uh, if someone needs to get 
uh, in this website and to benefit from this service, it's open to everyone. Yes, yes. Actually, Said, we have prepared some QR codes that there are, um, we have passed to everyone in the room. So they can scan them and they will go directly to the website. Um, please offer this service to your businesses. I mean, it's a free consultant yeah. service for organic agriculture. It's super easy to make a request. And it took us a lot of effort. And also for the NECB CMED program. So it's really cool. Just offer it to your businesses. It will, be, it will give you also good image to yourself. So and you will be helping the environment because organic agriculture is really, really important because of uh, soil degradation, because of our health, and because of many other reasons. So um, I kind of got a little bit mad uh, that we are, don't, don't have so much organic agriculture in the region. But anyways, we will continue the conversation. Thank you, Said. Thank you very, very much. Um, we Thanks. wait for you the next year here in Barcelona. Um, we send you a warm hug to you, and I will just give some instructions for the people here in the in in the in the room. Thank you very much, Said. See you. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Ah. It's not only for organic ecosystem, though SDR are one of the very few uh, projects managed by Jordan. And, and no, it's not easy to start with uh, when you don't have experience. I think they deserve special, special congratulations. But I would like to, uh, to congratulate the four of you. I mean, you're still in the room, the four that presented. So I was very, very impressed. Because, uh, as we always say, the program is nothing. The program is the partners, and the partners then are those who really uh, bring this to the ground. And the platforms, of course, are one of them. Mm -hmm. I could have made many questions, but it would have been too much and maybe too technical. I had also some f philosophical questions on tourism, because I, I really like it. <laughs> but I, I keep it uh, for bilateral uh, with them directly. So just a uh, big, big thank you to, uh, to all of you, and of course to you, uh, Skame, and uh, yeah. especially Diana. Thank you. Thank you Thanks. to all the team. Thank you, Vincent, for coming, and thank you all. We can be closing this session. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will just give you... <laughs> bravo, bravo to all the team, Fernanda, Luis, Estela, Andrea, Rosa, eh, Dania. Papa, mama. <laughs> no, and uh, just for now on, thank you for being with us the whole day, keeping the energy high, asking questions, awake. Uh, now we are going to have, um, for the startups that are still in the room, that are interested, uh, we have uh, Tarek and Radwa that are uh, business angels that will be in the room in case any of you want to pitch to them. Okay, they will stay here. So if you want to pitch to them and do a speed dating, let's say, uh, you can stay here in the room. Um, and then for the rest of us, we can continue our bilateral meetings uh, outside. And then when we feel like we want to go outside to the patio, there is a after, um, after work cocktail. There will be some... Uh, some drinks, uh, some music, and we will just enjoy a little bit the good weather of Barcelona in the patio. Um, Belen is uh, going to close. Okay, thank you, Par. Now you are here, you're doing that Man, best, and come, you know everybody come, knows Belen, you. Thank so, you. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to thank yes, cool. yes, we the Chamber of Commerce of yes. Barcelona. The Chamber of Commerce of Barcelona, the NI, CBC, CBC Med Program, uh, Europe 8, uh, the engineer, um, all the chambers that are here with us today, they do a great work. Um, and obviously, Ascame. Ascame, uh, just the organization. organization. <laughs> yes. Diana. And, no, and, and just, uh, of course, that you remember that this is not like a close um, um, Mediterranean innovation hub, that they follow up alive through our uh, webpage. And mm -hmm. we are um, looking forward to see you here next year in Medwick 2023. Thank exactly. you so much for being Thank with you us. very much. Thank Have you, thank you, thank you. Stay well. Thank you.